Hi, I'm Myla Watsushi and this is How to ETH 101, the life in Zurich as an ETH student video. The first question is that what happens if you don't know German at all? The nice thing in Switzerland is most of the people know basic English, so knowing English probably will be sufficient for you all the time. Even if you know German, it may be difficult for you to understand Swiss people because they're talking in Swiss German, which is different than German itself. By the time you're getting used to it, if you know German, but it actually took me two months to realize that in Mensa, after you're taking your dinner and, and then pay, they say you shinabi. And every time I was thinking that this is like enjoy your meal or something, but then I realized they're only saying it on dinner. Then I understood, oh my god, they were trying to say shonen abend. <laughs> I felt like I unlocked uh, another part of the map and you start to learn these basic German things which I am not able to pronounce them nicely still after two and a half years but when you meet with people you're saying Gritzi as I told you have a nice evening is like Schönabig in Zurich and yes the Swiss German also changes from Canton to Canton what is Canton? <laughs> Switzerland is basically composed of cantons and there are some cantons speaking in German there are some cantons that are speaking in French some in Italian and some in Romanish those are the four national languages but I guess in Zurich Canton most of the people also know English so but not knowing German is not a big deal but but I guess in French part this is kind of not as frequent as the German part like in Lausanne at EPFL my friends were saying that the less people know English so they need to know basic French to communicate with cashier at supermarket or bakery or those sort of things but other than that you can live in Zurich without knowing German but I advise you to learn German <laughs> my German friends are saying that Swiss Germans are like little German kids because they are adding li to end of most of the words and it is actually kind of a suffix to make things smaller so it's kind of cute i don't know i am waiting maybe swiss people to comment on it so each canton has kind of their also own laws so the laws may change from canton to canton also the taxes are changing from canton to canton salaries are changing minimum wages changing from canton to canton and and as an ETH student, you're in Zurich Canton and you're in the Zurich city. So for example, Zurich is a city and Dietikon is another city, but it is in Zurich Canton. Does it really make sense? I will leave this to you because I want to keep this video simple. As a student in Zurich, you have lots of opportunities around you. You also have e-bikes around the city, which you can have student subscription with the agreement of uh, ETH so that you just take the e-bike, use it, leave it in the other station. They are really nice to use to go from one place to another. If you don't want to subscribe to anything, you can also get a bike from Zuri Velo. Uh, you pay 20 francs first, then you get a bicycle, you use it for one day and you give the bicycle back and you get your 20 francs back. This is also a nice option and this is also another alternative to the transportation. Uh, cinemas are a bit expensive but as I told you, you may have student discounts. And then nightclubs and pubs, we have this street called Langstrasse. <sighs> my pronunciation Langstrasse which I will never be sure but I pronounce it correctly because whenever I will listen it I will never know because I'm not a Swiss person <laughs> But okay, there are lots of nightclubs, bars and everything. But also beer may cost you around 10 francs. If you have the budget to do it, you have the nightlife there if you don't have a pandemic around. But also you can have a nice and relatively budget-friendly option in the campus where we have BQM, which is a bar just down below the Polyterrace where you can see the city. Yes, we have the main building and it has a terrace 
that sees the whole city, it is amazing. And on the bottom of this terrace, you have the mensa and then you have the cafe, which is called Zweistein. And then you have the QM bar, the beers from the tap, I mean, the, the open beers that are not bottled. It is uh, 4.2 francs. And it is a quite nice place too, but you don't have the clubbing thingy there. <laughs> Side stuffs. You can go to theaters, but you should check whether they are in German or in English. These tickets may vary a lot. You can find it for 5 francs or uh, 100 francs. Depends on who is playing and where. You can go and see lots of concerts also. Concert tickets. It can be a pop singer, it can be a rock singer, rock group or, or a symphony. The tickets vary in between 20 francs to 5 francs depending on the artists that you would like to see. There is an opera house which I've never visited <laughs> and tickets there uh, are expensive but there was for example an open opera night. They put a really big screen outside so that you could just put your seat or sit on the ground and watch the opera from outside. And it was a nice event, I really liked it. Then there is this shocky tram the chocolate tram that happens once in a year that goes around the central Zurich and inside they are serving you chocolate. There is also fondue tram <laughs> which you can eat fondue in it. Wow. Yeah, all these nice events are happening in Zurich. Street parades and bow. <laughs> bow is around February or March. They make this big snowman not out of snow, out of explosives and they put it in front of the opera house that's all the, I don't know, branch, some wood and they start to burn the wood and then they wait for snowmen to explode <laughs> and then <laughs> the time that they start the fire and the snowmen exploded the duration will tell them how long will the warm and nice weather of uh, summer will be staying it's an old tradition it didn't include explosives this is also a nice event to join and there are holidays that they also again do parades there are strikes that you can join it's always peaceful no police force or anything which like so far what i've seen and Visiting other cities in Switzerland, this is also really nice. By train you can basically go anywhere from Zurich. I guess the longest train you can take to a place in Switzerland lasts around 3 hours, not more. To the Italian side, I guess. And there is a city called Lucerne close to Zurich, it is really nice to visit. You should go to Bern, you should also a friend site Lausanne, you should see Jungfrau, the most known mountain of Switzerland. There are many hiking routes, there are many activities all around Zurich and there are lots of wonderful museums all around. You should see them. So far my best is the transportation museum at Lucerne. The entrance ticket was around 30 francs, even for students. It's worth every rappen. I mean the scent that I spend to see because, I don't know, as an engineer I really like that museum. One day was not enough for me to see everything, so I'm planning to go there again because I really liked it. And there are also lots of art museums, modern, classic, and also in Zurich you also have Landes Museum, which is a really nice, and Kunsthaus, the art museum. You can also see famous art pieces on those museums. And there are some days, mostly on weekdays, these museums are actually free. You may also want to visit them on these free days. I am really satisfied with the museums around Switzerland. I really like them. Thank you, Swiss people. <laughs> actually, I will show you the apps that saves my life in Zurich. One is SBB, this one, which is trying to open. Yes, there is this easy write that I used only once. It is not focusing. I don't want to change the focus. Okay, you just start it by swiping it. You're not buying any ticket and it uh, requires your location information. And at the end of the day or when you finish your trip, you just swipe it back and it just gets the cheapest ticket that you may have needed for such a trip. But what I mostly use is that I also use the touch timetable where I can just say, Okay, from my house to Habe, I'm just making a swipe to there 
and then it shows me the rights. I mean, I'm not getting money to show you this app, but the, I really like this app and <laughs> I use it so frequently, so you may want to download it if you're going to be a student at ETH living in Zurich or I mean living in Switzerland so you basically can buy your tickets from like just just by swiping and, and this is going to give me the ticket options and I can select and I can buy by using Twint this is another nice thing that I will come to but let's say I would like to go from Zurich to Lausanne and I enter it and let's see for one hour later it will give me a ticket price of 37 francs but this is 37 francs because I have a health fair card. If I didn't have a health fair card, which I mentioned in the first video, then it becomes 74 francs. It really makes sense to have the health fair card because if you're going to make such journeys for three or four times, you basically meet with the price that you paid one time to get the health fair card. Again, these prices are for buying tickets for today. If I would like to buy it for next week, for the same time then you have a discount which is super saver which is 33 francs but if you select going there and coming back then it will give you an option to uh, buy a saver day pass but that you can get this uh, super saver tickets i guess it depends on the quota of this uh, tickets and the demand to these tickets for example i can buy a saver day pass with a half fare card for 49 francs with the Saver Day Pass, I can actually go to anywhere in Switzerland. It doesn't really need to be from Zurich to Lausanne. I may go anywhere and I can use most of the things. For example, if I'm going to use a bus in Lausanne, it's also counted in. Where this may not apply is the funiculars or lifts that will take you from city and to the mountains. Most of the times you need to pay for that specific lift also. If again, let's see what would be the price. If I didn't have a half fare card, then the Saver Day Pass would be 70 francs. As a student who would like to travel around Switzerland a lot, I really advise you to buy this half fare ticket. And also for people who are under 25 years old you can also buy this Gleis uh, 7 which allows you to get any train after 7 till 5 a.m. to anywhere free and this is also a uh, thing that you pay for once around 100 francs. Let me also talk about twins. All the banks have agreement with the twins and this is such an application so you don't need to carry any money okay you need to carry money but most of the supermarkets or most of the restaurants allow you to pay with the twins so there is a beacon or qr code you just make your phone near to the thing that you need to pay and then you pay it right away it gets the amount directly from your account you can also send and request money from your friends and then for example if i send one of my friends one frank then i can add a message i can also add a photo in my payments <laughs> if we bought potatoes for example we take photo of potatoes and requesting the money like i bought potatoes send me the money to your housemate <laughs> Other than twins, there is also ZVV tickets. ZVV is specific for Zurich. Here you can get the monthly tickets. In the SVB app, you wouldn't be able to get it because somehow they didn't put that there. And this app is in German. SVB was in English, but this one you can only use so far in German. If you forgot about it, you can just get your ticket from the ZVV. And since you have the twin on your phone, you can just pay with the twins option and it will just take the money from your account so you don't need to take out any credit card, write it down or anything. And then I talked about e-bikes. I also use this lovely bike where you can see how many e-bikes, how many normal bikes. One station you go there, you're also able to unlock the bicycle with the app and then use it. Health insurance also has an app where I can just scan the invoice that had been sent to me and then this will automatically send it to the insurance company and they will be paying the invoice for me. Very easy. These are the most frequent apps that I'm using in Switzerland. As a summary, I can say enjoy your time in Zurich as a student and go out, don't stay in your room. 
take a bicycle, go around the city, go to other cities, visit the museums, see these amazing mountains and hike to mountains, climb them even though it's so exhausting. Switzerland is a beautiful country and there are many things that you can do as a student. So I hope you will enjoy your time here. Yes, this is it. See you on the next video.